Hello guys! In this lesson, we're going to talk about what are lists and subscribers. Let's get started! Small businesses that are starting to use the power of the internet using email marketing must know that having a list of contacts, including their name and email address, for promoting your products or services is important and crucial to their marketing campaigns. Lists are email lists that business owners have collected over time from their website visitors who have opted into their forms asking for the visitor's name and email address. Email lists are important since it is an essential part of a small business's email marketing campaigns. You can't promote your business if you don't know who you are sending your promotions to. You will need recipients to send your marketing promotions, product updates, freebies, discounts, or exclusive offers. Email lists give the marketer an opportunity to reach out to people who are already interested in the products or services that they offer. People on the list are already expecting to receive email messages from your brand. So make sure to craft your email messages so that people on your list keep their interest in hearing from you. Lists give you an opportunity to divide your subscribers into segments or topics. For example, if you're a clothes store, you can make a list of people interested in kids' fashion and another list of people interested in women's fashion. And you can send them correct offers according to their interest. A single business can have multiple lists. You can create any number of lists you want, and the subscriber can even subscribe to multiple lists. Remember that you must not buy an email list because there are people on the list who are not aware of your brand and they might move your email to their spam folder. When this happens, your crafted email will go to waste. You lose some of your potential customers on your email list, and you don't want that to happen. Email subscribers are the people who are willing to receive mail via the email addresses that are on the email list. These people may have been part of a list possibly because they have opted in a form from the website to download a free book, get a discount, and they also have the right to unsubscribe from the list. It is normal for people to unsubscribe from your email list for the reason that they are no longer interested in the emails that they are receiving from you. These people are doing you a huge favor since you'll be having a list of targeted people who remain subscribed to your list. Why do people subscribe to your mailing list? People want to get discount deals. We all want to save money. If we learn some ways to get discount coupons, we will do everything we can just to get a better deal than paying for the retail price. Your subscribers already expect that your brand will have a limited offer deal within a year, so they will watch out for that. They will stay subscribed and be part of your mailing list. People want to be educated. Learning is a continuous process. More and more people are curious and want to be updated with the latest trends. They want to improve on certain topics. As a marketer, you can provide your subscribers with short courses that are easily digestible. Brand awareness. People want to know more about the products or services that you offer. Letting them know about your products through email is a great way to keep your subscribers interested. As they learn about the benefits of your brand, they will realize that they want your product. They will eventually want to learn where and how to purchase your product. Converting your subscribers to your customers. Now that you know what are lists and subscribers, we can now proceed to the next topic. What's an opt-in form? I'll see you there.